hi java lovers yes and a tutorial uh, in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can write functions in a different file and then call them into a separate file right file new project name this project it's a java application next we'll name this project as uh, calling functions and next finish here we go we need another class here which will have functions right so i'm going to add a class file i'm in the same folder remember i'm in the same place i'm going to go file and uh, new file and i'm going to go java java class next i'm going to name the classes bob functions finish We've got two files here now bob functions and calling functions in bob functions which is where i am now i'm going to write a function right so i'm going to say very i'm going to do very simple one here i'm going to go add add number right or a square in numbers a number will be passed to this class and it will square it and it will return the number okay so i'm going to say bob s q u a square that's the function i'm going to create and uh, hit and there so it should be public public bob square public uh, the return type you can have as int public int bob square and i will pass a number n to it so giving me some error so i have to declare the number or the parameter which is within the brackets also of what type it is so int i'll pass int to it and then it will return me a value right so obviously within the brackets i have to have a return statement right return say we'll go with n just n right now we need to do some calculations inside right the calculation is the number n which is passed should be squared right so now n is equal to n times n i'm going simple i'm not using any math or power or anything right very simple n times n and it gets stored back into n with the first n here i can have it as m i can have this n as m and i can return it as m here so that doesn't matter right do i make sense Uh, because I didn't declare m is of what type, I have to go int m. Okay, clear, guys. So up to this is okay, right? Now this gets returned m, whatever value is calculated, gets returned into int, which is here, and goes back to the calling function. Now let's try to get it somewhere. Calling functions. How do you get it here? That's the point, right? Now that's a separate class you have to first make an instance of that class by using the uh, inbuilt uh, name as new so there's something called new with which you can build the build, build a instance of a class okay so what do you do is you first of all start with the class name where the function is okay class name is bob functions right and then you use a variable or the instance name right i will say object i will say obj1 object1 right is equal to new that's the uh, inbuilt thing which you use to create a new instance and then you write down the name of the function let me see no you need the class again here so bob 
functions with a bracket there. This creates the object. Now using the object, you will use the function which is inside. OBJ dot, the function was Bob square, OBJ1, yes, OBJ1. The function which was inside was Bob square. So it was Bob S-Q-U-A-R-E, Bob square, right? Let me see if I use the same function there. Yes, Bob square, cool. And you have to pass something to that. So, say, I'll just use a hard-coded 3 here. I'm not getting any user input here. I just will see, I'll pass 3. I'll see if it squares it and returns it, okay? Now, this has actually called the function and it will return something. So, I have to store some its in somewhere. So, it will perform some function. It will return something. Now, it's trying to look for something where it will store. So, just before that equals and I will put it in a int again int var squared. So, uh, that's a variable which I've just created and uh, I can store it in there, right? And I'm going to print that now and see if it works. System dot out dot print ln and I want to print bar squared. I'll just go with that, okay? I'm going to run it and see if it prints 9. Obviously, yes. Cool. So that's how you call the functions from another class. Thanks, guys.